it's a little bit too small in width so i'm gonna double check these other ones and see if they're a little bit wider like that one's the same width this one's they're the same width hmm. i have to figure out a way to make um basically a support for it because it's not wide enough to sit against the walls for some reason so but that's weird because it was before let me try it again and all my other pieces are the same width so unfortunately we won't be able to get another one that's wider let's see see watch so i put this in here it slides under nicely but oh, okay i guess i can do it that way and just support it that way but there it is so now there it is yeah i wanted it to like latch on but yeah the the notch is a little bit bigger than that side i like the one i did over there better but now we have our floors nice and secure so now i have a lot of storage down here to put my traveling food for this kitchen so i'm what the goal is to have a kitchen a mobile kitchen in the suv just with a gas burner um and oh a sink in there so i can like wash stuff and stuff like that um brush my teeth in there and all that stuff without using the system i showed y'all previously but um basically it's to have a mini kitchen in there with that setup i showed y'all um which I'm about to unscrew this now so I can put it together. But I'm going to have that as a kitchen set up with a sink. And then I'm going to have my other set up in my trailer. That'll have the air fryer and the more high wattage items. And then in here, I'll just have my um, maybe a rice cooker and then my um, gas burner. But it won't be like a whole bunch like I have of it all together. So I'm excited to kind of split everything up and have this set up for maybe one to three people and then have my setup here um in my trailer that's for like four people um i just feel like it'll be a lot more cozy and then i have a water system that i think i can use uh, in my truck that i'm going to pull out and then there's a specific water system i'm going to get for the trailer it's called a julka system it's a hot water system and it's all like it's just really it's perfect and they already have the mount for it so i'm gonna get that for that it's just a little pricey so working on what i can in the meantime but yeah that's the uh goal now since i have that trailer is so that way if i need to go into the city for a reason or if i want to stay in the city um or go visit somewhere i can just kind of park my trailer and have that parked somewhere and then i can go into the city when i need to or want to so that's the goal with that part it's so cute but yeah let's start unscrewing this and then we'll start making the counter situation that i'm going to put in there i'm really excited here we go so this is what we're about to be making today guys i'm about to cut out these pieces here from the counter that we made in the desert to build out this system here and what it's gonna be is, it's gonna be flipped opposite so that way it can be held up on this side if I wanna do um, the full length, which will end up being uh, about two feet. But when it's folded down, it'll be about 15 inches wide and it'll be right above the woven bins that I have. And the legs will just sit inside those bins and provide more structure. And inside one of these bins, I still have to figure out how it fits, I'm going to put two water tanks uh, one for fresh water and one for gray water so that way i can put a little sink hole in here and so i'll have a small kind of sink here and then i'll be able to pop this side up um, this way and set it over here for extra like cooking space and stuff like that when i need it um, the only thing i'm trying to think about with the sink is if i want to just do a ceramic top like a ceramic pot and put a plug in the bottom of it and just hook it up when I need it and keep it in here or if I want to have it permanently uh, like a hole in here because I feel like if I just have 
the pot that I can pull up and put down, I think that might be to give me more space because I might not need the sink all the time, you feel me? So I'm thinking through that right now. Um, I might just go to Target or the Dollar Tree or somewhere and get a ceramic pot and put a plug in at the bottom of that small pot and use that as my wash station instead of um, putting a hole in here. Cause then I will have to figure out how to one get a make the perfect hole, so I have to get a bit for that or a piece for it, and then I also have to figure out how I'm gonna cover that circle, like when I'm not using it, and it would be the full width, and it would dip down into here quite a bit. So I'm thinking I might just get a ceramic bowl and do that up. But anyways, today we're gonna be making that, and then I was gonna make this. Uh, outside kind of piece for the trailer um, so that way I can get these little metal hooks here and just kind of have an outdoor spot if ever I want to pull the trailer up to a park or like sell some stuff I can just kind of have it sitting on that um, bar but I don't know if I have the wood for it right now so what I, I'm gonna do is do this um, bookcase because I know that this piece is going to have to be pretty long and I don't really have a lot of long pieces left over. I have more like smaller pieces. So I'm going to do this bookcase um, piece. I just want a piece to slide in between the front of the book so that way it'll be blocked and like provide good coverage if I, um, if I don't pack everything back up. Um, so it's kind of like a little wall, but I need to figure out the depth of the bookcase so I can get the right uh, fridge size and stuff like that. And then I also want to get the width so that way I can get the uh, wood piece in there correct. So I'm going to get those measurements and then I'm going to be cutting these pieces and this, unscrewing the cabinet that I have and putting the flip top in this configuration and screwing the L brackets on this way. Um, so I'm going to be doing all that and I'm going to take y'all along with me. So let's go. <laughs> so, so I got my water. This was, is just some crystals and stuff that was in the cabinet. I have these two pieces that are like this. One of them, I'm going to take a few inches off for the floorboard on the passenger's backhand side. I got my tools and then I have this. Hey, Katie. So I'm about to take all these screws off and just reuse them. I'm going to reuse this flip top and I'm going to just trim everything out to the new measurements. And I'll just show you along the way because I want to listen to music and I don't have two phones. So we're just going to be out here trimming away. First, I'm going to cut this uh, piece here. I'm going to take two inches off and then cut a notch in the middle so it'll be easy to pick up and put down inside the truck because this side is more of like my kitchen equipment side so I want it to be easy to get the gas stove and stuff like that so this one's going to be cut up a little bit more and then I'm just going to take this completely apart and then I have the measurements to chop that one up as well so let's get going all right guys so I don't know if you can see the lines here but I just drew out two inches off and the little notch that I'm going to snap in the middle. So this is what we got going here. I'm about to cut this up. Alrighty. Not my best work. <laughs> the little notch is really long and it's a little bit lopsided, but we're going to try to put it in here and see how it fits. And it's raining, so I'm gonna move everything else to the um, ranger station so we can finish it up. But let's see how it fits. I caught myself. I almost started hacking away, but I have my lines drawn out. Those are the extra pieces there. And I got an extra piece there. So I'm gonna figure out what I wanna do with those. Maybe I can use those for the outside counter I was talking about. But uh, for now, oh, I also have, I wanted to make a space for, um, like a long enough counter to go across the entire backspace. I'll show you all that. So maybe I can have a long enough one to cut that up. That would be pretty dope. But for now, I'm going to cut this up and screw it together so we can put it in one of the boxes and try it out. And then I'll see if I can make a full counter out of one of these. I'll show you all what I mean by that. All right, let's get to chopping. All right, guys, so this is a quick and a small one. So this one's a lot smaller than the last one was, but I think it'll still be perfect for what I need. 
So I'm about to sand these corners down so those are nice and smooth. I'm gonna have to repaint some of the corners so it all looks the same finish like it did before, but for now it's just gonna be sanded so it doesn't get all over the place. Um, so I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna take these screws that I was using before and the smaller screws and I'm gonna just put some L brackets on here so it'll be able to slide into the box and support itself. And then I'll put this hardware piece, this black one here, it's a, a 180 turn. So I'm gonna put that on one of these pieces. So I'll technically have a two, two counter pieces. So it'll kind of be set up like this. And then I'll be able to flip this up and down and use it when I need to. But this is one of the shorter ones. It'll be a little bit longer than that. But anyways, I'm about to get started putting this together so I can see how it fits before I check out the other piece I wanted to get together. So here we go. All right, guys, so here it is in all its glory. Got a couple L black brackets down there and a little turn so I can put this up. I think, yeah, it can go pretty high. But this is what it looks like. I'll be painting it up so it'll all be finished like this side, like all that will be finished and stuff. Here comes this darn cat again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm about to see if I can get it to fit in the box. Let's see. All right, y'all, so this is it. Again, I still gotta finish these edges here, but this is exactly what I was looking for. So basically, this is, I'm not gonna pull it out right now, but this is, you know, my outdoor kitchen. And then if I want to make it a little bit longer of a countertop, I can just do that. And then I have more space for the counter. And then what I like is this gap here because that way I can get that ceramic sink that I was talking about and just put the sink right here with the shower head or with the faucet head and just temporarily use it. So underneath here is gonna be two water tanks, my sink and uh, no longer this sink. This sink is gonna go into the big trailer. So a smaller ceramic sink, two water tanks, and any other water connection stuff in there. And then this will be more of the pantry. And then this one, I think I'm gonna take this one out and just put a third one of this because I do have three. And the third one I'll use to be more, have um, more like living stuff, um, like everything that's here. Um, some electrical wiring and stuff that pink bag is electrical wiring so something like that in the third set and the third set will probably be sitting down there um, so that's what I have now I really like it it looks a mess right now because I know cats trying to get up here it looks a mess right now because I'm still getting it situated these tools are all going to go into something either on top of my in a tool thing on top of my SUV or inside of the trailer hitch. I'm still trying to get that storage figured out because it's not that much, but all that'll be gone. So basically these two seats, I'll only pop down when I'm going to be laying down, which I really like. So these front two seats will be up most of the time so I can put stuff on them, whatever I need. And then back here is gonna just be my stealthy sleeping situation. So I have my kitchen sink, um, pantry food stuff and then underneath this uh, floorboard I just made here is extra stuff so it'll be like my um, gas stove and other kitchen stuff that I may need and then over on this side is hygiene like before um, wipes face wipes and all that good stuff so I basically just consolidated everything down so it's pretty compact back here and then I can fit three people up in the front or I can fit um get down no animals in here or i can fit my um my luggage and stuff because the only thing i'm missing right now in here is going to be my um my luggage my clothing so i'm gonna need room for at least one duffel bag and then my uh, one duffel bag for clothes my hygiene bag and then one bag for um food and stuff so that's what i'm gonna have to somehow fit in here um, I like that there's this walking space in the middle, so I'm going to try my best not to fill that up. Um, so basically, I'm going to probably try to find, honestly, my backpack fridge is probably what I'll keep in here and just keep it um, no refrigerated foods in here. I think that that'll be the easiest way to do it, uh, along with my sink and everything. And I think that that'll just be the smoothest way to 
have everything set up but i'm so excited that this is like this now i can envision it a lot better i'm gonna empty this one out um these two bins and stuff and get them situated for kitchen and then i'm gonna bring the third box that i have like this out here because they don't fit well in the trailer the dimensions don't but i think that this bin down here will so i'll swap that out for another one of these so it'll just be three and honestly in that case i may be able to add another edge like this on that side and then have another um be able to flip it up on the other side but i don't have other um what do you call these these little corner pieces i don't have any more of those to put that on the hardware so maybe that'll be something i do later and it also is lower over there so probably not but we shall see so the last thing i wanted to measure is underneath here i'll show y'all one second all right guys so this counter if you can see it's not one full piece and what i wanted to do was trim out one piece but honestly it doesn't look that bad and I think that what I wanted to do was, no, see, so it has a little step here. So I feel like it's fine. I don't think I need to cut out a new piece. And then this is the handle. So you can just pull it right out. Um, you just have to lift it on this corner, lift it up, and then you can pull it out. But I think that's fine. So I'm really excited about this cabinet top. I think it's gonna be super helpful. I don't think I'll need much more space than this, especially when I'm cooking in here. I think I just need room for my gas stove and then this extra spot I can use for my plates and stuff. And then I can put a top down like this and I have my cutting board back there. So one of the backs can also be another kind of mini table. So I feel like this is more than enough space. I just have to get my storage bins together so I can have all of my, um, just my food in one area, um, probably all in that backpack, honestly, but having my food and pantry stuff in there. I have some um, oatmeal and stuff in containers here that I'll probably either move those containers to the trailer and just have um, everything food-wise, pantry-wise in my backpack. Um, that way this is going to be more water tank stuff like I said and then this one is going to be a pantry and then I'll have a third one down there that I'll be able to put stuff like this in um, and yeah that'll be the new setup I'm excited about it I think it'll be really cute once I get it all together um, just really organizing again the inside but for now this is what we got I really like it I'm gonna put this back together um, and show y'all what it looks like one last time and then yeah we're not going to cut out that anymore so i think that's all we need for cutting stuff i think everything else is all cut out so now it's just going to be finishing everything i'm um, putting the vinyls and stuff on all the wood so it doesn't get water damaged but yeah that's what we got all right guys so this is where we're at for now not too shabby so far so good i like how minimal it looks it looks really stealthy and i'm excited to get that third storage in there i think it's gonna make a big big difference but this looks perfect for the road this is gonna have everything i need when i'm just out and i want to go out somewhere without the trailer <sighs> that was a that was a full day guys <laughs> i'm sweating but thank y'all so much for tuning in please let me know what you think about my little makeshift setup and if you have any tips on ways that i can maximize my space even more here um i'm just making some more room in here now that i have the trailer and i really like having this extra space i think not having everything all bulked in here is awesome I can even move some of this stuff into the trailer so i'm very excited to have just extra breathing room in here especially here even though i thought this would make it even more crowded but it worked but anyways, I will see y'all on the next one. Thank you for tuning in and we'll see you next time. Peace.